Hey girl, are you a night vision device? Because you sure do illuminate my world. So all uh, freaking corny ass pickup lines uh, put to the side. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the Soviet PNV 57E, a Soviet night vision device. The, uh, the only difference is compared to the, 50, uh, the PNV 57 is this one actually amplifies light as you can see right there. So you don't need an IR light with it, but I have a cheap IR light uh, right over there. That just right here, as you can see. It just, uh, I just hook it on. Hook it on right there. And there we go. So you don't need an IR light with this, but preferably if you were gonna use this in a, you know, a complete pitch black room or environment, this is the way to go. Let's so see, turn it on. And there we go. The PNV-57 is a family of night vision binoculars originally developed and produced in the Soviet Union, but later variants were also developed and produced in Czechoslovakia and Poland, such as the Polish PNW-57 and Czech PNV-57. The design has several variants, either using Gen 0 or Gen 1 image intensifier tubes. They use an external power supply with a high voltage cable connecting the supply to the binoculars. Most variants then require an external power source to be connected to this power supply. Originally, these units are mounted to a tanker style cap helmet, which is most likely the TSH-4 helmet. These devices were issued to Soviet tankers and vehicle crewmen during the Soviet-Afghan war. These devices could plug into vehicles that didn't have their own night vision capabilities, as well as for commanders of Soviet tanks. These night vision goggles aren't too heavy as the transformer acts as a counterweight. However, the transformer does produce a high-pitched buzzing noise. Nice, dude. <laughs> That's what's Better right. show me that picture. I will. Is it bright? Like, yeah, I can see Marcos. <laughs> can you see them as well? Yeah, I can see them. They're more in focus over there. Yeah, no, it, it gets a... Uh... <laughs> this is... So I've been walking for like a good 30 minutes now. Just under these. You can see that there's some rocks up there. So, you know, you can't really use night vision in complete pitch black like this because, you know, at the end of the day, you wouldn't really be able to see much because night vision needs some light in order to operate. But that's why it's the best time to use night vision is like slightly under moonlight where you get that natural light. You can see my eye right there, I'm looking at y'all. <laughs> really is. <yes. laughs> and, uh,. Yeah, there we go. And if I turn it back off, yeah. Boom, gone. Just like your dad. So real quick, that this light right here that you guys can see, that's the IR light on. Now, the camera could pick it up, but y'all wouldn't really be able to see, because you guys can't see it. If I turn it off, the human eye can't, uh, you know, capture infrared light. The only way you can really see it through infrared light is like through a camera or like, NVG goggles like this. See, look, 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 see how that works. So when I turn it off, I yeah, see that shit. Turn it back on. It, it appears like as a purple light. Yeah, look at that. But it's like a dot. It, but if but this is how it would appear to the human eye. Type shit. So as you can see right now, there's completely pitch black. In my room, there's like barely any light. There's nothing like the curtains, blinds are closed and everything. You can still kind of see. This isn't enhanced or anything, but you can kind of see a little bit of my closet door. Now, if I turn on the IR light, you see more, just see more like 
for the door right there, you see? But if I look away, completely pitch black. Now if I turn it off again, see that? Can't use it in pitch black. Night vision needs like so a little bit of like a little amount of light in order to work properly otherwise you're not going to get no image it's going to be walking in the dark still but with ir light it's just beautiful look at that Over there, you could kind of see the, uh, you could see there's some light right there uh, from the IR battery charging station. And I'm pointing right now, the, I'm pointing the night vision at my gas mask uh, shelf. And if I turn that light on, you can, you can see it. Turn it off. Bit hard to see. Turn the IR light on. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? She's fucking really interesting to me. You can see it right there. As you can see right there, you can see both tubes. Sorry, close it on. Look at that. With the IR light on. It's kind of freaking like, really freaking blurry right now. It looks a lot better when you're actually using it. Like it's you like actually looking through it rather than a camera. But if I zoom out, looking at, I'm zooming in where I'm pointing the camera at the exact same spot, except it's freaking pitch black. But, okay. Look at that. It's pretty freaking cool. Oh my God. One thing I found interesting while doing research for this video is the fact that some people are trying to modernize the PNV 57E and attach them onto fast helmets such as these. My favorite example being this ACH or ECH helmet. There even is a YouTube video on how to modernize these Soviet night vision devices as being shown here. So would I recommend buying these night vision devices for someone wanting to buy night vision on a budget? Honestly, for what they are, considering that these were made in the 1980s, they work really well. And if you can afford it, you know, why not pick one up and try it out? However, I will say if you are going to buy one of these, be careful on which variant you buy. As many buy the PNV57 thinking that it will amplify light. When you compare both the PNV57 and PNV57E, you can tell the difference pretty much almost instantly based on the nods themselves. Well, that's pretty much all I got for today. This video, honestly, in my opinion, is kind of chopped, but um, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you guys think about this uh, video. I've tried to make it as informative as possible. I try to make it, well, I try to make it as, you know, educational as possible. And right now I'm just freaking recording this voiceover unedited. And um, yeah, I just hope you guys are good. If you guys are still watching, you guys made it to the end of the video, you know, God bless you. Uh, you, you have, you know, <laughs> you have, you know, an extra inch on your pee pee. And um, yeah, hope you get that girl that you're trying to talk to. And I hope everything goes well for you. And uh, most importantly, I hope you all enjoyed this video.
I'm probably repeating myself, but um, yeah, I'll uh, catch you guys next time. And uh, yeah, see you guys. Wait, these niggas said it hurt me. I ain't